I'm Vince Gilligan, creator of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, and the one Netflix movie that nobody remembers. Now that Better Call Saul has come to an end, I feel empty. I feel aimless. I wonder, what should I do with myself? I finished Breaking Bad, I finished Better Call Saul, and I bet I finished Jesse's story. Now what should I do? I thought, how about I just remake everything? Just do it all over. Now, some of you might think, you can't recreate the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is one of a kind. Leonardo da Vinci never tried to replicate it. Why should he? It was a masterpiece. But I am going to try to recreate my Mona Lisa. Now come with me and enjoy. Now, for this first piece, I wanted to recreate season one. You know, season one where Walter White is standing with his in his whitey tighties and... Is all menacing and cool. Now, I'm gonna attempt to recreate that. So, let's just start off by drawing Walter White. I need to dip a little water. Yes. I have to choose colors. Alright, I'm thinking we need to let's start with just outlining Walter White. Let's get that going. You know what? I should probably use a more smaller brush for that, but that's too late now. We're doing this. We're creating it. Come on. All right, now let's start by uh, drawing uh, Walter White. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Now, I'm just gonna start by uh, giving him his uh, hair. You know, hair in season one. You know, uh, just like nice little hair. I also have to start thinking about who to cast in this new version. I can't cast uh, Brian Cranston, he's gotten kind of too old for the role. So I need to think of something else. So I was thinking, how about... Yes, I got it. You know that uh, cute boy with a uh, tight ass in those Avenger movies? What's his name again? Uh, Tom Holland, right. Right, Tom Holland as Jesse. And... Uh, Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg as Walter. Yes. That'd be great. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't that just be great? Wouldn't you love that? To see that? Yeah. I know you would. So we got here the his uh, his shirt. Yeah. Just like looking cool and stuff. With the Yeah. You have, um, ignore that. You have, uh, Walter, you have, um, let me think, let me think, let me think. We have, um, Mark Wahlberg as Walter White. And, uh, Tom Holland as Jesse. And it's gonna be like this. Jesse's gonna be like, uh, wh What should I do, Mr. White? Mr. White, I don't feel so good. I don't want to cook meth. Mr. White! Mr. White! You gotta help me, Mr. White! What should I do, Mr. White? I, I just wanna be like you, Mr. White! Mr. White! Oh my god, Mr. White! Mr. White! And, uh, Mark Wahlberg will be like... <clears throat> so, say! Jesse! What's up with all this math? Huh? You know? How do you create the math? You need to use chemistry. You see? Chemistry is very important, Jesse. Come on! Come on, Jesse! Take an interest in math. <laughs> Take an interest in chemistry. Oops. Anyways, let's draw his little legs. Uh, let's get a little bit of that humanish color, the uh, white people color, as they call it. It's funny. It's funny. In art, in art school, they would always tell us this is human skin color, but it's pretty much just white people skin color. Yeah, I know, a bit racist. But my teachers were racist. Anyways, he's here standing. Real cool and stuff, and his whitey tidies. Yeah, let's just let's draw the whitey tidies. Come on, uh, get that right there. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There's his whitey tidies. Tell me, aren't you agree with the casting choice I'm doing? Drawing a casting choice. Putting Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland in the role. Wouldn't that just be the fucking best? 
Now let's draw the gun. The gun is important. Yeah, there. That's the gun. Now, that is season one recreated. I'm telling you, ain't it just the freaking same? You can't see that. I'll show you the poster. There. Isn't it just the absolute same? I know, I know, gasp. Now it's time for season two. In season two poster, uh, Jesse and Walter are sitting on a bench with math around them and it's all cool. So let's create that. Now let's start off by drawing Jesse. We'll just start by doing the outline. First we need a little bit of a color. Let's get the black color. You know what, no, not black. We're not racist. Let's get, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get the human color. <laughs> I did it again, human color. Ah, I'm so sorry. I'm just so used to calling it the human color because that's what we do it did in school. I apologize, I am not meaning it like that. But let's use this color for Jesse and Walter. So let's start by drawing them. Here we have Jesse. Huh, you can't see that. Shit. Fuck it. Let's just do black. Just like we did in the old days in paint. Where we just draw black outlines of everybody. There you go. And there you go. That's Walter and Jesse. And now, we need to draw their outfit. Their outfit is kind of blue whitey. So we're just gonna go with a bit of a bl light blue. Yeah, let's go with a light blue. There you go. And then they're sitting on chairs. The chairs are just like, I don't know, gray or something? I don't know. Uh, I don't have gray, so I'll just use black. Yeah, black will always do. And they're just sitting here on their seats. And yeah, there we go. And they have math around them. Let's get some blue again. There we go. And uh, yeah, there. There it is. Season 2 recreated. Isn't it just the same thing? I know, I am a genius. Now, how about we draw the most iconic poster of all? The All Hail the King poster. Everybody loves that. That is the most iconic one. So, let's start. We have Walter White sitting in front of all his math being the king and all. You know, he's a badass, he's cool. So let's represent that. Let's very create that. Bring that back to life. So, let's get a little... Again, dark outlining. This time I'm using a bit of a lighter pencil to get a little more representation. And here we go. There, that's Walter. And he's wearing his yellow classic suit. So let's do that. You know, I look very forward to start filming with Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland. I can't wait to see what they do. I mean, Tom Holland is great in those Marvel movies. Who is he again? That, that uh, spider thing. Yeah, that spider guy. And he's always like, mm, Mr. Stark, Mr. Stark. I feel like that really represents, you know, you see, I really wanted to create this kind of father-son relationship with Walter and, and Jesse. And I think having Mark Wahlberg and... Uh, and Tom Holland as Jesse and Walter will be perfect. I mean, they're going to be playing uh, Nathan Drake and uh, Sully in the upcoming Uncharted movie, which some people would say is kind of stupid. Why would, why would they be the right for the role? Who cares? They're perfect for the role, in my opinion. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. There he is. There he is. How will I recreate the classic scenes? Well, of course. We need to talk... If we're going to really talk about recreating, let's talk about the villains. Who would play the villains this time around? Let's talk about Gustavo Fring. Probably the greatest villain in Breaking Bad. 
You know what? You know what? I'm thinking Morgan Freeman. You know, he has that buttery voice. I'm Morgan Freeman and I'm here to explain stuff. He has that mm, smooth buttery voice, you know. Just love it. So, how about he comes in and he's all this, oh, nice guy. Oh, he owns a, he owns a, he owns this little, little restaurant. He's a nice dude. Yeah. Then he's a villain. But he will still keep the smooth buttery voice because that's the staple of, uh, of him. All right, now let's draw the chair. Yeah, he's like sitting on a chair and he's like here behind him and stuff. And he's like, uh, yeah, that's that's good enough, I think. Yeah. And uh, then he has a bunch of meth behind him and shit. Yeah, let's try to let's try to replicate it because this is my Mona Lisa. gonna get a little dash of blue just a little dash of blue I'm gonna draw the meth crates behind them here we go yes 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 here we go yes 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 there we go now this is art just recreating as you can tell I've kind of become a hack I ran out of ideas. See, Breaking Bad was my magnum opus. It was my masterpiece. It was my Mona Lisa. And now that I've, I've milked it dry, I'm just, just like, what What can I do? What can I do? Then it came to me. Remake it. And when I'm done remaking Breaking Bad, I'm gonna remake Better Call Saul. That's right, you're getting it all over again. Is this good enough? Yeah, it's good enough. Eh, who cares? You people will eat it up. You'll love this. Thank you for watching me ruining what you love. Now, now it's time for uh, this video's uh, sponsor. Remember our last sponsor, ColombianDrugLords.com? Well, we got a bit of a criticism. People were like, oh, come on, like, I sure, I can buy this stuff, but, like, my kids don't want to do this stuff. So we fixed that. Dr we are partnering up with ColombianDrugLords.com and Yayakuza. And we invented the whole new shit. Our collaboration with ColombianDrugLords.com was an overnight success. Huge hit. But, uh, sadly, it wasn't as big a hit in Asia. Apparently they thought it was kind of too much, so we teamed up with the Yakuza to help us create something more proficient. The Japanese are professionals in making stuff cute and fun, so they helped us make the cocaine into this sweet sugariness flavor for the kids and even for the adults if you don't like the spicy flavor of cocaine. Get it for yourself and you will love it. For a limited price only, ColombianStrugglers.com is selling both the adult kit and the children's kit all together in one pack, a family pack. 50% off for the, if you use the coupon code, go fuck yourself. It's ColombianDrugLords.com slash go fuck yourself.